me, I actually got in at the right time, but uh, for zookeepers in general, um, it's become quite a competitive field, so making sure that you have a lot of experience with the animals that you want to work with. Interning, hands-on experience is always going to uh, benefit you the most. Zookeeper jobs are incredibly difficult to get. There's a lot of you know, competition out there. Everybody wants to work you know, in the zoo field. Everybody wants to work with animals. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a difficult job to get, but once you get it, it's well worth the time it takes getting into that field. Zookeeping in general is a pretty competitive field, but I consider myself one of the lucky ones that has a full-time job and loves her job. It is a very competitive field, um, but having the um, knowledge and um, uh, perseverance to, to get your foot in the door here um, is going to take you a long way. Uh, yeah, it's actually really hard. A lot of people, I feel like, don't realize how hard it is to get into the zookeeping field. There's a lot of competition and not that many openings. So it was pretty hard to get my job, but we have to gain experience, and a lot of times that means that we don't get paid. It's pretty hard. Um, marine mammal training specifically is a very competitive field. You have all of these people who grow up wanting to be marine biologists, wanting to be the dolphin or the sea lion trainers. Very competitive, but very worth it once you land the job. It's a difficult job to get, I think. Things have changed in the zoo field in the last 10 or 15 years. There are not very many zookeeper positions. I'm one of only eight people in the city of St. Louis who gets to take care of bears and cats every day. So it's, yeah, it's not an easy job to get for sure. It was difficult to get my job. The zoo field is very competitive and rightfully so. There are a lot of people who are very dedicated to taking care of animals and to their conservation. So there are a lot of people out there who are trying to get the job that I currently have and I'm very thankful that I have it. I just started here at the St. Louis Zoo a week ago, but it's been a lot of work and I'm very proud uh, and grateful for the opportunities I've had. So I don't really have a favorite animal. I love a ton of different species. One of my favorites is the American black bear. My favorite species are lions and cheetahs, but I would say my favorite animal that I care for it's whoever I'm taking care of that day. It is hard to have a favorite bird when you have over 400 birds, but I certainly am partial to a couple of the birds that I have personally raised, including two of our tawny frogmouths, Radio and Corner. Oh man, between the seals and the sea lions, I've got to go with the sea lions. Uh, they're really fun and interactive, but the seals are really cool too. They just, they're a little sea lions. We have 102 birds here at Penguin and Puffin Coast in particular, and we have 102 different personalities. I would like to give a shout out to um, Guapo, one of our humble penguins, um, Elliot, one of our king penguins, and Woody, one of our rockhopper penguins. Those three um, make, make getting up and coming here definitely worth it each and every day. So my favorite animal is actually Joe the gorilla. He just has the greatest personality and he's so goofy. And he's not classically handsome, but to me, he's the best. It's very hard to pick a favorite animal. We work with so many. Growing up, it was always a polar bear. I'm an invertebrate keeper, so uh, it, uh, obviously it's going to be this, the spineless wonders that are in here. Assassin bugs tend to be my favorite type of insect. My favorite animal is my dog, Grits. But as far as like animals here at the zoo, they're like Armenian vipers. They're a beautiful species of snake from the country of Armenia and some of the other nearby small countries and the zoo uh, does a lot of work with these guys not only here in captivity but also in the wild to make sure that these guys, guys don't go extinct. I would choose a koala. They sleep for the majority of their day, they're kind of cute and cuddly, and they really like eucalyptus. Definitely something in the water, maybe like a manatee. I hate to say it, but I don't think I'm a bird. I think that I'm a possum. I like to eat. I can get a little cranky when disturbed, um, and I like to sleep. I think I'm probably a lion. I am a king penguin. I turned into a king penguin a long time ago. I like it to be cold weather. I like to not have to check the weather every day because I know it's just going to be a balmy 45 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to um, sit and digest after I've um, been in the pool for a little bit. So. I would say that I am one of our uh, a painted dogs because I'm very social and the painted dogs they love to play and so I would say a painted dog. I would be a type of animal that sleeps all day long. That's really anything. So probably an anteater because they sleep 22 hours a day. I would be probably an American crocodile. They're big and kind of scary looking but when you get close to them they don't really uh, you know, they're, they're pretty chill and relaxed. They like to hang out 
in the ocean and on the beach, and I like to swim and stuff. They also like seafood a lot, and I like seafood a lot. I get called a lot of things, but I still fall under the, the, the homo sapien or human. Oftentimes, I get confused for a red panda because I work with the red pandas, so I guess I'll say a red panda. <laughs> 